In this video, we derive the distribution of the mid-range statistic. And so let's let X be IID, independent, identically distributed with some density, where F is continuous. I goes from 1 to N. The CDF, or capital F of X, is the probability that X is less than X, I, you know, that value there. Let's let Y, I be the ith order statistic. So Y1 would be the minimum of our data, and Yn is equal to the largest or the maximum value. Now the joint, the joint test statistic, or the, the joint density for Y1 and Y2 is written like this. Now I have other videos on order statistics and finding the density, and we're not going to drive that in this video, but this, but this is it, where Y1 of course is less than Yn. Now the mid-range st statistic is M, which is it's the mean of the largest and smallest value in our sample. It, or the, yeah, the average, the mean. So we, that's ultimately our goal is find out the distribution of M. <clears throat> so, but when we map, you know, two variables, we have to map it to two variables. So we create kind of a, a dummy variable or a silly variable or I don't know what you want to call it and then we integrate it out so we find the joint distribution of both of these variables and then we integrate out this leaving just this one so here what we do is we back solve for y1 that was an easy one and then when you back solve for yn you get 2m minus s now the Jacobian of this transformation is this so it's the partial derivative of yn with respect to m with respect to S. This is with respect to M, with respect to S, and then the derivative is 2, and then the absolute value is 2. That's the Jacobian. Now, so the, the joint distribution or joint density of M and S, which are these random variables here, is you take the density of our original, Y1 and Yn, and plug in these uh, inverses these where we back solve for y1 and yn so this is y1 and this is yn and that's the jacobian absolute value of the jacobian so when we plug these values in now this is the um it's n n minus one and this is f of y1 but we're plugging in s and this is f of um yn which is this and this is f of y1 which was s f of y n which we're plugging in this times two now next we have to find the density for m which means we have to integrate out s and s goes from negative infinity to infinity so we take the joint density and integrate out s and then what is left is the distribution of the mid-range statistic so as an example Let's let our data be IID uniform 01 random variables. And we have a sample size of n. So that means that our density F is 1 and capital F of X is X. Now, our mapping, we, we want to find the density of the mid-range statistics. It's the mean of our smallest and largest value. So we create this other variable that so we find the joint density and then we integrate out this when you back solve you get 2m minus s and s the Jacobian's 2 very similar to what we did but now since we have a specific density we have to find the mapping so this is y1 and y2 and um, y1 is always less than yn so we're in this region here and they each go from 0 to 1 so we're going to map y1 and yn to m and s so what you do is you find this boundary here so this boundary when is when y1 is zero so that means s is zero so that means we're on this axis somewhere and yn goes from zero to one so this is zero and so it goes from zero to one half which is this so this boundary maps to this boundary or this edge maps to this edge 
Now here, y1 and yn are equal. So then what we have here, so, and it go, you know, y1 goes from zero to one, right? So s goes from zero to one. yn goes from zero to one. But since those are equal, you can put y1 here, so you get two y1 divided by two is just y1. So S and M equal. So that boundary is mapped to here. Now the third boundary, YN is one, and it map you can you can plot it here. It maps to this one. So um, so YN is one. S one goes from zero to one. And so if YN is one, then M goes from one half to to one. So it goes from here to here, but while S goes from zero to one, so it's mapped to there. Now to integrate out S, we have to, you know, we integrate from here to here, but then once we get over one half, we integrate from those two functions. And so when M is less than a half, we're integrating from zero to M. Not, well, yeah, M is between zero and a half, but S goes from zero to M. That's what the zero and M is. And this was our uh, density where we plug in N, N minus one, the density with Y1 plugged in, or S, and then this is a YN, a F of YN, F of S, the density, that's the Jacobian. And now we just integrate. So here we get minus 2s, so we can factor out a 2, but it has to be multiplied by 2 to the minus 1. But combined with that one, we get 2 to the n minus 1. The n's come down, and we're left with m minus s, raised to the n over 2. Now let's let u equal m minus s, this quantity here. Uh, take the derivatives, plug everything back in. Now notice that when we plug in M for S, we get zero. And when we plug in zero, we get M. And then that's U into the two. Uh, DS is minus DU. Now that minus is going to flip those around. So then when we take the antiderivative, we get U to the N minus one over N minus one. But those cancel, leaving this evaluated from zero to an m, and we get this, two to the n minus one times n, m to the n minus one. That's when m is between zero and a half. And it's very similar when m is between one half and one. That here, we're, so s is going from this function, m, down to two m minus one. So two n minus one and m. That's the where we're integrating out s when m is between one half and one. And so this is what we you know we, we had before. So really the only thing is change is limits of integration. And so when you uh, plug everything in, we can almost skip down to this. So we, the, you know it simplifies to this. Now we let u equal m minus s du minus ds, um, 2n comes out, n minus 1 comes out. When we plug in m, we get 0. When we plug in uh, 2m minus 1, we get 1 minus m. So that's u to the n minus 2 minus du. That minus, we switches those. So then when we take the antiderivative, we get u to the n minus 1 over n minus 1, which cancels one of those. Plug in the limits of integration, we get this. And that's it. And so if we were to plot these two functions, it looks like this from zero to one, and it, and it peaks right at one half. And so that's it. That's the density of the mid range statistic when underland data is uh, uniform zero one. Well, that's all I have for today. Hopefully, you enjoyed that. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.